Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at how to get a picture in your email signature. Now, I'm often asked how you can get an image into your email signature in the Apple Mail program. Now, there's no easy way to do this. You're not really prohibited from doing it. It just doesn't make it easy. So here's a trick that I use to get an image in there. So the trick we're going to use here relies on the fact that you can copy some portion of a web page and then paste it into the signature field inside of Mail. And this portion that you paste can include an image. So we're going to create a simple HTML page with an image embedded in it to use to copy. So I've created two files here. The first is a picture file and it's just a very small image. I want to keep it small since this will be attached to every email I send and also an HTML file to support it. I've put this just in my documents folder in a signature test folder I created and I've just put them right there. So let's take a look at the signature that I did HTML. It's a very simple HTML file. You don't really need to understand HTML to use it. It's just a bunch of dashes here for the first line followed by a line break and then my name followed by another line break and then a very simple image tag to embed this picture jpg image in there. Now to view this in Safari, since this is an HTML file, it knows it's supposed to be opened by Safari. We just double click it and it opens Safari and shows us this local file. So this isn't actually on a web server anywhere. This is just a local HTML file with an embedded image. And you can see it appears here and this is what, how we want our signature to appear. So I'm going to select the entire portion I want to use as my signature. I'm going to do edit copy and now I'm going to jump into Mail. And in Mail I'm going to go to Mail Preferences. I'm going to switch to the Signatures tab. Create a new signature. I'll leave the default name for it but I will select and paste over the contents. And now I get exactly what I wanted pasted in here. A, a copy of what is on the HTML page. I'm going to go to my account that I want to use. Here I want to drag the signature over there so it's a signature assigned for that account. I can also set it as the default signature for that account there. Now when I compose a new message it will put that signature there at the bottom. So now I filled this out with a complete test message and I'm going to send it and in a second it will come back to me since it's going to the same account. There it is. I can open it up and see that the complete signature is pasted in the bottom. Now one of the important things to realize is when you compose a message it has to be a rich text message. So if you have it set to plain text you of course won't be able to see the image uh, in your email. So that's how you include an image in your email signature. Now as to whether the person on the other end sees it depends a lot on them. You see there are all sorts of different email clients. There's Apple Mail, Windows, there's Outlook, there's Windows Mail. People use web based clients like Hotmail, Gmail, Yahoo Mail. There's a lot of different ways you can view email. Each one handles images a little differently. And also users have preferences as, as to how they want images handled. For instance they can select to have no images displayed in email messages. They can have them displayed as attachments only or inline in the email. So not everybody's going to be able to see your image in the same way. For instance, when I sent a test to Gmail, it was just shown as an attachment because I had display all images in messages turned off. Once I okayed that for that email message, it did display inline and also showed up as an attachment. So you're not always going to get the complete effect that you want, but at least it's a start and your image will always be included in some way with the message. Also keep in mind you want this image to be as small as possible, just a few K. You don't want to send like a one meg image every time you send an email and all of a sudden you send out to a group of friends and you're sending all of these huge files everywhere and people with slower connections are going to hate you. So I hope you like this look at including an image in your email signature. Till next time this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.